We are now going to look at complementary slackness for linear programming in the most general terms. The complementary slackness conditions basically is a characterization of optimal solutions for a primal dual pair. So here we have a primal dual pair in its more generic form. And say we have an optimal solution to p called x star and an optimal solution to d called y star. Now remember that the dual solution is an indication of how we can take linear combinations of the constraints in P that will give us an inequality, telling us a lower bound for the optimal value for the primal problem. And if we take an optimal solution from D to give us that inequality, then the right hand side, the lower bound, is in fact the optimal value for P. So we have our optimal solution x star and y star to P and D. And the complementary slackness conditions are going to say the following. For each i, 1 up to m. Remember m is the number of constraints up here in P. D says i form a partition of the set 1 up to m. So for each i, basically we are saying for each constraint in P, if a i transpose x star is not equal to b i, then y i star must be zero. Okay, remember the x star and y star are optimal solutions for their respective problems. And we also need for each j in one up to n. So n is the number of variables in the primal problem, and so the number of constraints up here in the dual. Y star transpose a j not equal to cj implies that xj star has to be zero. So what it's saying is if x star and y star are optimal solutions for p and d respectively, then they must satisfy these conditions. The converse is also true. If you have x star and y star feasible, Okay, so now, if x star and y star are feasible solutions for the respective problems, if these hold, then x star and y star are in fact optimal solutions. So, if the CS conditions hold, that is, for each i we have this, and for each j we have this, then x star is an optimal solution to p and y star is an optimal solution to d. So the complementary slackness conditions give a characterization of optimality for a primal dual pair. So let's recall, if you have optimal solution x star and y star, they must satisfy the complementary slackness conditions. So these are the complementary slackness conditions. And if you have feasible solutions x star and y star satisfying these complementary slackness conditions, then we can conclude that they are both optimal for their respective problems. It's literally not too difficult to prove the latter, and I encourage you to think about it and see if you can derive that result.